Okay, just doing a video here. Just want to show you how I've reprogrammed the computer here. As you can see, we step on the throttle and the air fuel ratio changes. Thing's got lots of power. So you can see at idle, we're at 29 amps and the air fuel ratio is 16. So I just want to show you a little something here. I'm going to step on this truck. I'm going to floor it. As you can see, we are flying for a big old four-wheel drive Suburban. And then when I let off the throttle, the air fuel ratio goes to 20 to 1. We're going 55. As you can see, there's 55. I just drive it easy. The air fuel ratio is almost to 20. There it is, 20. So that's our cruising speed. Okay, I've reprogrammed the computer so that uh, at light acceleration that uh, we're at 20 to 1 air fuel ratio. Okay, we're pulling 94 amps, uh, which is about 8 liters per minute. We're going 50, 51 miles an hour. I'm in a 45 mile an hour zone. But I just wanted to show you that uh, how we've reprogrammed this computer. It's been on here for about 8,000 miles now. Um, things running really, really smooth. Our EGTs, if you can see that, are 900, 900 roughly. They're usually around 1,100. Now I'm gonna step on it again. I'm gonna floor it. I'm gonna show you how much power this, this thing just freaking jams, man. There is so much power compared to a factory engine with this amount of hydrogen. So, I usually don't like to step on it like that because, you know, we're trying to do fuel economy with our technology. But I just want to show to people here that, man, we have plenty of power, even at, at uh, the higher air fuel ratio. I'm actually at the stop of an intersection here. So I'm just going to give it throttle like you normally would. Just drive it smooth. You can see it's climbing. And I mean, I'm not really giving it a lot of throttle. Well, 55. We're at 20, 21 air fuel ratio. 20 to 21, roughly in there. And see where my vacuum is. So this is uh, one of many that we're programming. We're actually working on a couple of different other engines, um, some hot rod style engines that are high performance. Those are some of our next victims. Um, we're also working on some 2013 vehicles, which um, are getting great results um, reprogramming the computer. And uh, our NOx and emissions on this vehicle are near zero. We've actually wiped them out 96%. We have proven data on that from labs. So, I just thought I would do a video again on this vehicle showing it it's still working perfectly. Talk at you later.